What's up, YouTube? I'm about to do another video for y'all. Yo. Yeah, yeah. Let me just get everything set up that I need. I need the tray, because that's what I ash on. I need my tea. Y'all see, I got some tea. I need that. Yep, that's some linger, not linger. See y'all, I'm tripping over my words. That's some lemon ginger tea right there. Lemon ginger. The Bigelow brand, that's my favorite tea, is the lemon ginger. It just tastes so yummy. We got my legs cool kind of still if I can barely sit crisscross the applesauce in this bed. That means I should do some yoga. I'm gonna do some, yo, the camera's slightly off. It's like tilted. Hold up. I gotta fix that. I gotta fix that. Let's get you right, camera. Okay, that's more like it. But yeah, y'all. Me being stiff just means I gotta do some yoga after this. So this video may be titled Smoking a Paper Plane Before Yoga. Smoking the Paper Plane Before Yoga. Y'all already know I do not condone no smoking. Do not try these stunts you see in the video at home. I'm a trained professional. I've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, I don't condone no smoking or nothing. This video is just for educational purposes and entertainment purposes only. I'm not encouraging anyone to do what they see me do. But I am an adult. And I can choose to do this. So yeah, what more can I say? Enjoy the video. But I hope y'all have a, have a, a good boarded day, night, whatever you watching this. You know, you know, you know. I hope it's been nice for y'all. I hope it's been productive for y'all. I hope you ain't run into no BS. And if you did run into any BS, I hope you were able to shake it off and not let it ruin your day. But yeah, y'all, I'm really here to talk to y'all about like financial advice. Yeah, because financial literacy is something that's very important, especially in the black community. Like I feel like my generation, people my age and younger, you know, they are, you know, taking financial literacy by the um, the reins, by the ropes, and making financial literacy there, B-I-T-C-H, and I like that. But it's still a lot of people out here that is not very financial, financially literate, and don't really know what direction they're going in. But let me tell y'all something. Y'all see how we in a recession right now? And rent going up? And everything going up, y'all. If y'all haven't noticed, the trajectory of the prices of everything since the beginning of time, the graph looks like this. It's straight up, y'all. You know, if you zoom in, you know, it may dip and dip. But if you zoom out, it's gonna look just like this. Shit only gonna get more expensive in the future. So to protect yourself from being down bad when we go get into other recessions, you got to make decisions now about where you put your money, how you spend your money, where you're going to invest your money. And I say the number one thing for black people that they can do, you know, to protect themselves from rent increases, you know, being evicted because of rent increases, is home ownership, y'all. Home ownership. Now, Renting 
It ain't nothing wrong with renting, guys. It's nothing wrong with it. But look at it like this, y'all. It's a lot of people out here who never owned a home and they just been rent renting. And then when this recession hit, y'all, they struggling to find rent money because they rent done increased so much, y'all. But the people who bought houses years and years ago, they don't have to worry about their monthly payment on their house going up. Cause that shit is fixed. It's been locked in, it's been fixed. The only thing they might have to worry about is property tax increase. But let me tell y'all something. I'd rather worry about property tax increase only than having to worry about like my whole monthly payment going up. You know? It does suck that, you know, people who have owned their homes and paid off their homes are now seeing these property taxes increase. But that's a lot better than seeing like your rent increase, your rent double over time. You feel me? So yeah, y'all, I encourage every black person to work toward buying you a home while you're young. So by the time you old and you done seen a few recessions and another recessions on the way, you'll be chilling for the most part. The only thing you might have to worry about is maybe your property tax might increase, but you'll be chilling, bro. You will be chilling. And then hopefully by then you'll have even more properties and you're making money on some of them properties. Also, y'all, it's really important how you spend your money. Like, materialistic things are nice in the moment, but later down the line, it's going to be worthless to you. It's going to be worthless to you. It might feel good to buy that thing in the moment, but it's going to be worthless to you. Stop spending so much money on clothes. Stop spending so much money on cars you can't afford. You don't need nice clothes. You don't, I mean, you need nice clothes. I'm not trying to say you don't need nice clothes. You don't need to buy expensive clothes to look nice and to dress nice. You can go to the Goodwill and find a classy, nice fit. You can find any type of fit you want at the Goodwill, at the thrift store. You feel me? I'm not really a fan of like Sheen and like them, them cheap sites like that, but you can find what you need on them sites, them Sheen sites. What's the other site? Timu. You can find what you need there. I feel like for young people especially, a lot of young people be spending way too much money on clothes, material things, when well, they could be putting that money towards something else that's gonna make them more money in the future. Like saving it for, like buying some stocks, you know? Saving that money to invest in something, whether you're saving it to invest in a house, whether you're saving it to invest in the business you have, whether you're saving it to invest in some type of dream or goal you have. like. It's just important to invest your money, not just spend it on material hooks and stuff. Make sure you invest in it into something that will actually mean something to you. Yeah. Now, one thing I can say is worth spending money on is experiences. Like, for me, traveling is always worth spending money on. And traveling is always something I'm going to do. And always something I'm going to be willing to spend money on. You know? I, I'd rather save my money to spend towards traveling and constantly throwing my money on shoes, clothes that I'm not even going to care about in a month down the line. So yeah, you'll see me blow a bag on a nice vacation. I can't lie.
Because something I love to do is an experience that I'll remember forever. In my opinion, some experiences are some of the best things you can buy with money. <clears throat> so go on that vacation. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah, y'all. I just want all my supporters and followers to be financially literate. You know, I feel like it's important. And another thing too, about spending money on the clothes, I know for me, one of the main reasons I don't spend a lot of money on clothes is because, like, I'm the type of merchant. One minute I can love something, like something. Next minute I can hate it. Like, it don't mean nothing to me. And I know I do that way with clothes, bro. Like, I'm, I, I, like, I'll go to the mall, spend a lot of money on clothes, and I realize, like, a month later, like, damn, I'm, I'm really only wearing one, one thing that I bought from mall. Like that other stuff, I may have worn it once, twice, but I'm really only buying one thing because I could love something one minute and then hate it and be over it the next minute. It's just how I am. I don't know that's called having mixed emotions. Is that mixed emotions? Like if you constantly like switching your opinion on things? I don't know. I don't know what you call that. But one minute I can love something, the next minute I can hate it. So yeah, that was my little financial talk. Most of that stuff, some of y'all probably already knew. But yeah. This tea is busting, busting. I cannot lie, this tea is busting, busting. Mm-mm. I'm probably about to relax after this, y'all. Just chill. And then after that, I'll get some things done. But I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'll be having mixed emotions on a lot of things. I, maybe it's because I'm a Gemini moon. I feel like it's a Gemini moon that just be making me so, like, flip flop or indecisive about things sometimes. Like I said, like, I'm a type of person, one minute, one day I can love something, next day I can hate something. You know? Crazy. I'm watching high in the high v -Lone in the background. I just have it on the background. This man been freestyling for like, I swear the whole video. How, how far am I into this video? He, he be freestyling for a long time. It's 15 minutes into the video. Okay, I know he hasn't been freestyling the whole video, but he's been freestyling the majority of the video. It's we 15 minutes in. I gotta skip freestyle. <laughs> I gotta skip the freestyle. I fuck with short freestyles, I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with little short freestyles. But after a while, I'm like, mm. Then I'll be over the freestyles. Oh y'all, another example is me having missed emotions about things or like flipping how I feel. So, I used to like my intro. But now I don't like my intro no more. I want a new intro. I want an animated intro. But I don't know how to do no animated intro. <laughs> I would have to hire somebody to do that. I gotta find someone who can do me an animated intro. <laughs> if I was living in Atlanta, I would be able to um find someone who could do me an animated intro just like walking around. If I could so many talented people in Atlanta. I love Atlanta, bro. I love Atlanta. Love Atlanta. Uh, uh, uh. 
kind of pulled up and it's a she said kind of button and yo what's that what is that gonna song i used to fuck with it is that um something richard really playing is that what it's called yo that's one of the best gonna songs i think it's called richard mill playing i used to bang that song bro i used to bang that song i gotta put that song on my playlist I don't even think it's on my playlist. And my playlist be so long, like, I feel like when I be having my music on shuffle, Spotify don't even playing half, be playing half of the song. It don't even be playing half of the songs. But yeah, now I don't like my intro. I used to fuck with my intro, but now I'm like, mm, I'm over the intro. I'm ready for a new intro. I want an animated intro. Now I think my old intro is kind of corny. See, like, I swear I be having mixed emotions, y'all. It's the gym around me. Because I used to really fuck with my intro, and now I think it's corny. Mm. That's the Gemini. I'm just, like, having mixed emotions, constantly changing my mind. It's rough out here for a Gemini moon. <laughs> but at the same time, I, am a, I feel like I am a decisive person when it comes to certain things, like important things. And I do know what I, what I want when it comes to like, you know, really important things. But it's just like with other stuff, with like small shit, bro, I'd be like, I don't even know, bro. <laughs> I don't even know, I just be doing stuff. I really just be doing stuff, bro. Like I swear I just be doing stuff. Majority of the time I just be doing stuff. Like I don't even be knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> Unless it's like important. So the rest of the time, I'm just like, fuck it. But I feel like that's how it should be. Like, you should really only give a fuck about the important shit. Like, fuck all the other shit. Fuck all the other shit, bro. Mm, 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 mm. Yo, I'm really moving soon, bro. I'm really moving soon. It's May, it's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, get up. It's the first of the month. It's y'all, it's the first of the month. I feel like I need to start throwing stuff out. Like, I have hella clothes I need to throw out because I don't even wear them. Um, I have some containers I need to help throw out because I have, like, these containers with stuff in them that I never, like, touch or use. I need to get some, some um, new containers for, like, packing and shit. I'm not going to... I don't plan on packing my shit in boxes. I'm, I wanna like pack it in containers. I don't know. But then it's like, when I get to my mom's house, where am I gonna store the containers? <laughs> Cause my mom's house is small. So I'm like, where am I gonna store these containers? Like, should I just get boxes? It's like also, I don't have the setup. I don't have a setup in my room to like store my clothes. I don't, or my shit. I definitely have like a lot of shit. Well, not that much shit, I just really got clothes. I don't got that much shit. I just got like clothes, no sheets. Okay, I really don't have that much stuff. So I thought if I got the containers, it really won't take that much space. I'll probably, need, honestly, I'll probably need like two big container bins to move. I'm not even lying, like it's not that much stuff here that I'm holding on to, I'm selling what I can sell in my room, like nothing here is going, like everything must go. <laughs> it's an everything must go type of genre. Like I'm getting rid of everything in this room except for my clothes. And like, you know, a few other things, but material wise, like I don't got that much to take with me. I don't, I don't. Cause like when I do move into my own space, like when I do get an apartment, I'm just gonna get new stuff for it. Like it's no point of taking this all this shit back just to put in a storage unit and pay for a storage unit just so i can have it when i move out like it's not that big of a deal to me i'll just get new shit <laughs> i'll just get new shit especially because it's a far move like it's not like i'm moving an hour away like i'm moving to the bottom of the map i'm, I'm kind of at the top of the map right now and I moved into the bottom of the map. 12 hour drive. 
over 12 hours. What stops is 13 hours. It's an all day thing, y'all. Like driving from Atlanta to Philly, vice versa, is like 13 hour all day, sh all day shit. Shout out to Bradley, bro. <laughs> Me and Bradley done that shit so many times. That would, it would actually be lit if he could drive back with me. But I don't think he'll be able to. Last summer we did it, but he'll probably be going back to Georgia before I do. He will. But shout out to you, Bradley, if you're watching this. Oh, 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 oh. Y'all, I'm kind of sad. I can't lie. My girl said she can't hang out with me this weekend. Because it's like finals for school and she in school. She graduating. She got like thesis type thing doing and then like other, other little finals do. I ain't gonna lie, I was salty. I understand though, but I'm gonna be salty like my girl but i can't see you this weekend like i'm gonna be soft i'm gonna be soft but i understand i understand because i was a student too and the end can be a little hectic it can be a little hectic well i don't know i feel like i can't even remember if the end of my like um college career if it was hectic or it was smooth Cause I can't even remember. I was so high for a while. I feel like it was smooth though. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like the end of mine was smooth, but I can understand how it could be not smooth. <laughs> I just got lucky. I graduated like in 20, my, my senior year was 2020, 2021. So that was like the year of COVID. So no, ain't no one give a fuck. <laughs> so that shit was easy. Like that shit was easy. I can't lie. That shit was a breeze. But yeah, y'all. Yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all. I'm gonna end the video here. I hope y'all liked it. If you want more content, subscribe to the channel. Even if you don't subscribe, there still will be more content. So you might as well subscribe right now. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment. And yeah, I love all my subscribers. Peace.